Hello, welcome to another video by LSX Engines, Tuning, and Marine. This video is going to be a special topic video about cooling bypass systems on uh, General Motors 5.7 or 5.0 small block V8s. Uh, many people have asked the question or been curious about what this third hole is right down here. And it's not an extra bolt hole for the water, meter, water pump. So what it is, is the way the cooling system works on this engine, the water pump pumps water into here and into here on both sides of the engine. And the water flows through the block, and then it flows up through the heads, the, the head, this is your cylinder head, and it flows up into here. And then it flows out this hole here and that hole back there. Well, some, sometimes they don't flow back out here, but the, there's a hole there anyway. So the water flows up into the cylinder heads and then back out through the thermostat housing on top of your intake manifold. That's in a car or a truck. So, um, and what happens is the thermostat, when the thermostat's closed, that water can't go anywhere. There's usually a small hole for air, but the water can't go anywhere because the thermostat blocks the water. Well, you can have pockets of heat build up inside the engine that will generate hot pockets and generate steam is because the water's not moving. It's being blocked by the thermostat. So in order to prevent that from happening, they put what's called a bypass hole. So if you look at this hole right here, that hole's in the cylinder head, or excuse me, that hole's in the block, and it leads down to a passage right down through there. There's a little lump in the cast iron. It leads right here to this hole. So this hole is where water that's accumulated in the head can come back through this hole and come back out that hole and go back into your water pump. So it's kind of a by, it's a bypass. It's an internal, it's called an internal bypass. And it lets the water move through the water pump, through into the block, up to the cylinder heads, and then the water in this cylinder head will cross through this hole here, over through this passage. It, it, normally water goes this way and goes that way. But if the thermostat's blocked, the water from go the water can go from here over through the hole in the other head over here and go back down through that hole and get back to your water pump. So it lets water circulate in the engine. It doesn't go through the radiator. It just internal circulates and bypasses the uh, thermostat. That's on a car or truck. Marine engines are a little bit different. Marine engines, the thermostat doesn't block the water going out to the river. The, the water is beneath the thermostat, so the water continuously circulates through the water pump, through the heads, back up into the intake, and back into the water pump, and, it, and there's a complete full-time circulation in a marine engine. So you don't need to bypass. So and I'll get to that. I'll get to a vortex head in a second. But in a marine application, you don't need to bypass. Now, so this hole is 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 un, not really needed in a marine application. Now, what does that? What is the practical implication of that? Well, if your water pump, if this this engine has the flange and the hole, so if your water pump only comes down to right here, you've got a problem because you're blocking. You're you're leaving this hole open. Well, you, you have a problem sometimes, not all the time. I'll explain that in a minute. So you need to cover up this hole with the, if the water pump doesn't have a way to cover this hole, you need to plug this hole somehow. Maybe, maybe not. So the point I'm trying to make is that some water pumps have a flange that extends down here and some don't. Um, the, by, vice versa, some blocks do not have this hole and the, it'll stop right there. And your water pump might have a hole that comes on down here. If that's the case, you can't use that water pump with that block. That just, that just doesn't work. So, so let me explain what I was trying to say while I go. So all your cylinder heads had the passage to pass water back down through this hole, back into this bypass uh, line right here, except Vortec heads. These are Vortec heads. You can tell Vortec heads because they have eight bolts. There's one, two, three, four to back, five, six, seven, eight. Vortec heads do not have the passage in them to feed water back through this hole. So if you're running Vortec heads, doesn't matter, that, that hole is dry, nothing in it. So in the, in the case of you running Vortec heads, then this hole can be open because there's nothing, this covered up right here, nothing there. So just wanna explain that. And uh, when I put the water pump on, I'll show you the water pump, the, the, the water pump, how it has a hole there too. But this is for, a, a, I'm specifically talking about marine engines. So marine engines, the water flows constantly through the block in a circular motion with the water pump that's on the block. When it gets hot enough and the thermostat opens, the thermostat releases that water and that water then goes out to your exhaust system, out to the uh, exhaust manifolds, and it draws in new water from, you have two loops. You have a loop that the, the uh, call your seawater pump or your, your outboard, your outdrive is pumping water up to the engine. That's one loop and it pumps it into, your, into the engine 
but it doesn't go in the engine unless the thermostat allows it to. Normally it just goes to the thermostat, passes through the thermostat housing, and then goes back, goes over to your exhaust manifolds and goes back out the boat. So that's one loop. And then this loop in the engine draws from that loop when it needs to. So that's how boats work. So cars and boats work differently uh, on the cooling system when based on where the thermostat's located. So, um, and like I said, in a marine application, you don't need to bypass because the engine's always bypassing anyway. So, hope this made some sense. And again, I'll, uh, when I get to installing the water pump on this particular engine, I'll show you how the water pump has a mating hole to go right there with it. Before I put this Vortex cylinder head on, there's the head gasket. That's a marine head gasket. And they do have the hole in the marine head gasket for the bypass coming right down to here, right there. Get over here, set. So that's your bypass hole leading into here. So the marine head gasket does have a hole for the bypass. However, if I measure from the bolt hole to about the center of the uh, bypass hole, you'll see that this Vortec head does not have a hole for that bypass. So there's my bolt hole right there. See, there's no hole there. Nothing there. So Vortec heads do not have the internal bypass from the heads back into the block that the older style small blocks had. So with Vortec engines in a car or truck, you must have what's called an external bypass instead of an internal bypass. And what they do is they take a hose or some kind of fitting off the intake, off the intake manifold and they loop back, back down into the top of the water pump. That's called an external bypass. And it's needed to prevent hot spots in, inside a car or truck with Vortec heads. If you have the older style small block heads, you don't have to worry about it because the hole is there in the head for that bypass to happen automatically and you don't have to worry about it. If you're running Vortec heads, this will be sealed off. So you can use a water pump because this hole can be open. I would plug it up with some silicone just to keep bugs out of it. But you can use a water pump that comes down to right here because that hole goes nowhere. It just hits the Vortec head and stops. But that's only with Vortec heads. So that is true. If you have a water pump that doesn't come, up, come down to this far, but you're using Vortec heads, it's not a problem. Okay, continuing with the last segment, I'm about to mount the water pump on this 5.7 liter block. And I've discussed this hole being a bypass from the heads down to here. These are Vortec heads, so the other end of this hole is a dead end, it's dry. However, I do have a water pump that has the extra hole. So this hole here will cover up that hole. And it has to because this that hole right there goes into this water pump. Let's see if you can see it done in here. Right there. If you look right there, that's where that hole ends up. So that hole, on, on pre-vortec heads, the water would come back from the head, come back through this hole, go into here and here. And it would go back, it would basically go back into your inlet of your water pump. So it'd be a circulation, a small volume bypass, internally designed to, to bypass water continuously that prevents hot spots. So that's, this water pump can be used on this block because it's got the, the flange and the hole here. If this water pump did not have this hole here and it was just kind of curved off here, just like that side, and this hole wasn't here, it worked fine on this application because that hole is a dead end. It goes up here and stops because I'm using Vortec heads. There's nothing to go. But if these were not Vortec heads and they were pre-1996 heads, it would be a bypass hole and you would be spurting water out this hole because the water pump wouldn't cover it up. So Vortec, you're pretty much okay with either type. If it's not, if you're not using Vortec heads, you got to make sure the water pump matches your flange on your block. So that's it. I'm going to install the water pump, and that's all I want to say on the marine cooling systems, at least on the open marine cooling. You have closed cooling systems, which are a little bit different. But I'll, I'll go into that in another video. So thanks for watching, and please subscribe if you found this benefit, this uh, video useful.